Hello friends, welcome to AutoCAD video tutorials. I am Prabhu and you are watching this video from CybercadSolutions.com. In this session, I am going to explain few express tools. Among them, first of all, I am going to tell you how to convert normal text into M text. So to convert individual lines of text to M text, we have to use a command called txt to mtxt the command is txt number 2 mtxt type txt to mtxt and press enter now it will ask to select objects at command prompt you just select the objects in the same order and press enter now you can see this text has been joined together and it has become multi-line text okay so this is how converting an ordinary text into multi-line text now let us see the other command t circle if you want to place a circle or a slot or a rectangle around a text at some offset you can do that one using an express tool that is t circle let us try that say i'm going to create a text entity over here that is say cyber and another text over here that is cad and another text over here that is solutions now i want to place a circle around this cyber as well as around this cad and around this solutions text objects so how to do that simple just take this command t circle type t c i r c l e at command prompt and press enter now it is saying select text m text or attribute objects as we have created three text entities you simply select these text entities and press enter now it is asking to provide the offset distance that is at present it is 0.35 you can increase it or decrease it let us say we shall make it 0.4 and press enter now we have three options that is the first one we can place a circle around an object text object or we can place a slot or we can place a rectangle also first of all we will go with circle click the circle option and it is asking create circles of constant or variable size now i want variable size because some text entities have more number of characters some text entities have less number of characters so let it be variable so to accept variable it is already there as default value you can press enter or click variable option now you can see three different circles have been placed around these text entities similarly how to place a slot around these text entities let us see that one so now again take the same command t c i r c l e and press enter now select all these three text text entities and press enter now enter the factor now i am going to take only 0.35 and press enter now let us try to place slots around this text so take slots option and pick variable option you can see slot symbols are placed around these text entities this is another option in the t circle similarly again type t circle at command prompt and tell, select these text entities then enter the offset factor i am leaving it as it is now take rectangles so pick rectangles option and select variable size so that you can see the rectangles are placed around these text entities these are the different um, objects we can place around text objects using this t circle option now how to change text justification without changing its placement so we have a command express command called t just let us see how to do that now if you select these text entities you can see bottom left or left is the insertion point i want to change it to middle center so how to do that using this t just command just type t just t j u s t and press enter just stands for justification so now press enter it is asking to select objects that is text objects select these text entities and press enter you can see different type of justifications are given as options on the command prompt that is top left top center top right middle left middle center middle right bottom left bottom center bottom right we are going to change to middle center so i am clicking mc for middle center now if you select this 
text entities you can see they are not moved at all but the justification has been changed it from bottom left to middle center similarly let us say i want to rotate these text objects to the angle of this line so without changing their placement so how to do that for that we are going to use an express tool that is t orient type t o r i e n t and press enter now select these text entities and press enter now it is asking new absolute rotation if you want to enter an angle value that is say for 15 degrees you can type in like this and press enter so that they will rotate to 15 degrees without changing their place only rotation will be changed similarly take t o r i o r i e n t command and press enter now select these text objects and press enter now i want to rotate this by the angle of this line so when it is asking to enter new absolute rotation angle you can click the first point of this line and other point of end point of this line so that all the texts will be rotated to that angle so that is how to rotate text objects to the required angle you can either enter an angle or you can click two points so that the angle of those two points will be calculated and the text selected text will be rotated to that angle okay then so sometimes while doing some civil drawings we may come across the requirement of break symbol for roads or any sectional details when we are showing so let us see how to do that i want to place a break symbol over here say this is a road which is being um, shown like this i want to show a break symbol over here so how to do that we have a command called break line type break line at command prompt and press enter now please observe the current settings on the command response area that is size of the break symbol is 0.5 so to display a break symbol over here i am going to use break line command so type break line at command prompt and press enter now you can check what is the size of break symbol and extension lines and now it is asking to specify the first point for break line so i am going to pick this as first point now it is asking for second point for break line i am picking over here now again it is asking the location for break symbol where do you want already midpoint is there you can click it over here or you can press enter to accept the midpoint of the selected two points so press enter you can see a break symbol is drawn over here if you want the break symbol to be little big in size you can change it so let us see how to do that using our options again take break line command and take size option presently it is 0.5 click size option or you can type yes set command prompt to activate that option and enter one unit to, ma to make it double size now it is asking to pick first point for break line so pick the first point now it is asking for second point for break line so click the second point and press enter now you can see a little big size break line is coming up and if you want this extensions little lengthier you can take that option also in break line symbol by changing the extension value over here take the extension option and modify this value so that that value will be modified so this is how creating a break line using express tools now how to create super hatch let us see how to create a super hatch so i am going to draw a circle over here and i am going to create one small circle with say some one unit and i want to create a block with that so take block command type c pick base point let me change the base point to center select this object and press center save ok now here is a block definition now I am going to put that block as a hatch pattern in this circle. So how to do that? So we are going to use super hatch command. Type super hatch at command prompt and press enter. Now we have a dialog box in which we have different options. We are going to use block option. So click that one. So you can see already C block is selected over here. Otherwise you can change by clicking this. So I am going to use this same C block. Now it is asking to specify parameters on screen that is insertion point scale and rotation so simply say ok now it is asking where do you want to place specify insertion point i am going to click over here then it is asking x scale factor i am pressing enter to accept the default value that is one on the command prompt 
again it is asking do you want y scale equal to x scale factor press enter to accept and it is asking for the rotation angle on the command prompt press enter to accept zero now it is asking is the placement of this block acceptable presently one block is inserted over here it is asking is it okay for you or not i am saying yes so simply press enter to accept yes now it is asking specify block extends that is first corner and second corner already it is drawn over there so we can simply magenta rectangle already it is showing at the command prompt so to accept magenta rectangle again press enter and it is asking an internal point specify an option here internal point it is asking simply click inside this circle and press enter now you can see so many block symbols are inserted as a hatch pattern inside this circle so this is how placing super hatch in a closed object i am arranging this let us try with some uh, some other uh, say i would like to place a hatch inside this one so how to do that again take super hatch command and take image option and browse to some image i am going to put my passport size image and say open it now still similarly as in the case of block it is also asking to provide insertion point scale and rotation angle so simply say okay over here and it is asking for the insertion point just go to the center of this circle and click over here now it is asking scale i want to make it say some three times now it is asking is the placement of this, this image is acceptable simply say s yes. press enter to accept that one now it is asking to specify an option that is internal point simply click inside this circle and press enter now you can see so many images uh, are placed in the form of a hatch pattern over here and if you want to uh, place the frames of these images you can use t frames command uh, that is system variable so that t frames will be switched off and if you want to get them back them again use the same command t frames so that they will be switched off so this is how use uh, placing a super hatch in some closed entities if you like this video please share my video link cybercatsolutions.com to your friends and if you have any doubts you can email me my email id is cybercatprabhu@gmail.com thanks for watching and welcome to the next session